Horses are on the track for the second race at DuCoin, the second elimination of the Shawnee. There's only five minutes till post. Win, play, show, exact, wagering, no changes. Time to meet the starters. Again, the top five come back for Saturday's final. Post time on Saturday again will be 12 noon. Number one is Hawthorne Key, owned by Buddy Simpson of Fairfield and Phil Pierce of Carmi, trained and driven by Buddy Simpson. Number two is Pixie's Dixie Gal, owned by Tom Harmer, Sierra Stable of Hinsdale, Illinois, by Claude Powers of Winchester, Tennessee, by Marcia Calfin of Ann Arbor, Michigan, and by Doug Jones of Illinois, trained and driven by Tom Harmer. Number three, Fox Valley Future, owned by Ron Marino of Ottawa, trained by Irvin Miller, the driver Tim Tietrich. Number four, Space Chick, owned by Rose and George Bonomo of Naperville and Chicago, trained by Rick Schrock, the driver is Dave McGee. Number five, Gum Corner Vicky is owned by Delbert and Ruth Burkett of Ellery by James and Beverly Hauser of Mansfield, trained by Delbert Burkett, Connell Willis in the bike. Number six is the Illinois State Fair Philly Stakes champion, Fox Valley Flan, and also the fastest Illinois-bred two-year-old trotting filly of all time, owned by Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is up. And number seven is Fox Valley Cordial, owned by Phil Langley of Frankfurt, Vicki K. Owen of Hinsdale, and Marshall Field of Rochester Hills, Michigan, trained by Jim Eaton, the driver, Findlay, Ohio's Ron Marsh. The second elimination of the Shawnee will be at the post in three the minutes. Second of our 13 races, and Pixie's Dixie Gal has made a break behind the gate, and Pixie's Dixie Gal is way back now, still off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Hawthorne Key goes for the lead. Gum Corner Vicky is there on the outside as they move into the first turn with Fox Valley Future moving up along the rail to take the second spot by a head. Hawthorne Key has the lead by a length. The Gum Corner Vicky is on the outside challenging Fox Valley Future for that second spot. A gap of three lengths to Fox Valley Flon as they race toward the quarter. Then Space Chick and Fox Valley Cordial and a long way back to Pixie's Dixie Gal, who is still off stride and has essentially been eased at the back of the field. The opening quarter went in 30 and two-fifths, 30 and two. On to the back stretch, Gum Corner Vicky is still parked and leads it by a neck. Hawthorne Key is second by two lengths, followed by Fox Valley Future in third. A gap of three and a half more lengths to Fox Valley Flan, then Space Chick, Fox Valley Cordial, and a huge gap back to Pixie's Dixie Gal. And now Gum Corner Vicky has gone off stride after grabbing the lead only by a neck. Then she made a break right before the half. So Hawthorne Key leads it once again by a length. Fox Valley Future second, and here comes Fox Valley Flan to the outside from third. They got the half in 59 and four. Fox Valley Flan starts moving up on the outside and gets the lead by a neck. Hawthorne Key is second. Here comes Space Chick moving up on the outside into third, a length and a half off the lead. And then Fox Valley Future and Fox Valley Cordial a long way back to Gum Corner Vicky, who is last. Fox Valley Flan is the leader at the three quarters by a length and a half. Space Chick is chasing the favorite second. Two lengths between the top two now. Three quarters and 129 and three. Fox Valley Flan leads it by three lengths turning for home. Then Space Chick and Fox Valley Future Hawthorne Key is fourth and Fox Valley Cordial is fifth. Fox Valley Flan leads Space Chick a length and a half inside the eighth pole. Fox Valley Flan by two lengths. Space Chick is second and then a gap of four more lengths back to Fox Valley Future in third. Fox Valley Flan opening up here by four lengths in the final strides under no stress. Fox Valley Flan wins it by five lengths over Space Chick, who was home second. Fox Valley Future was third in 158 and four. Fox Valley Flan, fresh off the Illinois State Fair Philly Trot Championship on August 14th, is owned by Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms of Felton, Delaware. Tanamira was the leading owner of the week at Springfield with five wins. Dick Cooley, who owns Tanamira Farms, a former General Electric executive who left GE to form his own electronics business. And he has gotten very involved in Illinois harness racing over the last five years. Yankee Salsa, the dam of this vaporized filly, was purchased for a $20,000 price tag out of the Harrisburg mixed sale in Pennsylvania by Doc and Pat Walker, who bred this filly in the name of Fox Valley Standard Breads. And this filly was a $41,000 yearling. How about a hand for the winner, Fox Valley Flan?
Got to talk real quick to Andy Miller. Andy, this filly looked real good at Springfield. You told us in the winter circle that day that you thought she might have been brushing a knee a little bit when she bore out. Has Irv done anything different with this filly since we saw her at the State Fair? He's changed her shoes a little bit and worked with her a little bit, and she seemed a little better today. She did seem a little better today. Folks, how about a hand for Andy Miller with a driving double to start things off? 